Well, look what showed up with the morning coffee this morning. A Phantom 4 Pro. Now, you know I don't do real unboxing videos, but let's at least make sure this thing exists. Same type of a box with different labeling, same foam case. And I don't know, maybe they just sent me a regular Phantom. It sure looks like one. I don't see what's different about it. Wait a minute. Looks like some enhanced cooling, but that, that may be a, the Phantom 4, but I don't, I don't recognize that. It looks like some enhanced cooling there. Otherwise, it sure looks quite close. Now, it is a different battery. We know that from the spec sheets. It's a little bit more powerful. It has a longer flight time. It's barely heavier than the Phantom 4. It's actually quite light, considering. I, I think when we talk about this bird, we're really talking about one major thing the camera, and really it comes down to the sensor. It uses a one inch sensor, same one that's used in the newer uh, Sony RX100 line of uh, cameras, happens to be my favorite camera. And uh, this gives you 20 megapixels and it gives you video specifications that are just off the chart. I mean, you're really gonna have to read my article and look at the specifications because I'm, I'm not gonna waste 15 minutes here telling you about all the video capabilities of it. But the Phantom 4 Professional is about the camera. The Phantom 4 Pro comes with one of two different controllers. The standard one looks somewhat the same as the one that's on the Phantom 4, but it also comes with a controller with a pre-mounted Android tablet. And I'll throw a quick picture. This is an unofficial picture uh, up on the video here so you can see the unit that includes the screen. But this is a standard unit that would take your iPhone, iPad, or what have you. Since this is the introductory day for this particular bird, let's just go through what's really special about it. Let's start with the propulsion system, the motors and the propellers. I assume they're similar to what's on the existing Phantom 4. Uh, the battery is a little bit different, same voltage, but it's got more power in it for a 30 minute uh, flight time as opposed to 28. Of course, we want to subtract five minutes off of that to uh, bring ourselves into reality. Now, uh, now we get into the sensing system. It, it does have the two cameras on the front, similar to the regular Phantom 4. On the rear though, it has the two cameras. And then, on the left and the right, it has a series of new sensors. These are infrared sensors. They're not using optical, they're using infrared rays, which are bounced off of a surface and then reflected back. By the time of the transmission to and from an object, the machine can find its way in space. So this allows for even more obstacle avoidance. The bottom does have the same sonar and cameras as the Phantom 4. I do notice some enhanced cooling there. Uh, now we get to the camera. And the camera is really the special part of the Phantom 4 Professional using that Sony one inch sensor. I hardly know how they fit it in there, but here are some of the differences. First of all, the larger sensor, I think it's three to four times the uh, surface area of the Phantom 4, the one in sensor. So uh, the Phantom 4 Pro is going to have vastly better uh, light gathering abilities. It's 20 megapixels on the stills as opposed to 12 megapixels. That's gonna give you a lot more cropping. It has focus on the camera. Uh, the Phantom 4 is a fixed focus. And when it really comes to the biggest difference, some of it is in the video. This camera is capable of filming video in one of two standards, the older standard H264 or a new standard H265, which some people say is twice as good for the same bit rate as 264. H265 hasn't been used as much in consumer devices only because it requires a lot of computing power in order to compress the video uh, using that standard. Well, DJI must have built a lot of computing power into this bird because it can shoot H.265 video at up to 4K and 100 megabits per second. Now that's gonna give you some 
quality video. The more intelligent flight modes added, uh, including being able to draw a line on the screen and have the Phantom follow that, uh, some very, very smart return to home and obstacle avoidance abilities. Um, the tracking has been enhanced where there are now modes where the bird can fly parallel to you or it can circle you while it's uh, active tracking you. There's a number of, of additional mo modes that we'll talk about in the article. Just taking a quick look at the difference in size between the cameras, the untrained eye might not even notice. Uh, the Phantom 4 Professional on the left here is just a little bit larger. The barrel is a little bit wider and this area in the back that contains the sensor is thicker and a little bit longer. This is the older Phantom 4, but very similar and that's why the size and the weight of the craft are also very similar. Yes, these must be some type of new heat sink or area where uh, air is vented out of. Perhaps the computing power required to process the video and the other uh, obstacle sensing in this unit probably uh, needs to dissipate more heat. Well, unfortunately, it's raining today, so we won't be able to take the P4P for a ride until tomorrow. But we'll be doing plenty of outdoor testing later this week. There'll be a much, much more detailed article with links and specs and everything else uh, on our website, DroneFlyers.com. Just check the link down below.